Hello everyone, how you doing? This YouTube video is on rehousing all the baby teas from that red face um, rose hair that um, just had babies. So I'll see how many I get out of this egg sac. But basically, I put them inside this 10 gallon container so that they couldn't actually get out and escape. Um, and as you can see, they started coming out and crawling around. And so that actually helps because I just pulled them out. Once I get all the ones that are out here in the exterior, and that is a dead cricket, I just put it in there in case any of them wanted to just go up to it and eat while they're crawling around free. Um, so basically uh, now it's just getting them into these deli cups here. Um, I already have deli cups ready, um, deli cups and lids um, ready to go. And so I have my tub of substrate here. So as I'm putting them in there, basically just very carefully scooping them out. Um, and what I'm doing is just kind of letting them just crawl on the lid. And once they crawl on the lid, then I just work them into the cup. Um, as you can see, they try to run away, so I'm not going to push the issue just because I don't want to accidentally crush one. But uh, you get the idea. Just corral them into the lid and then work them into the cup real carefully so that you don't hurt them because they're really really small right now so that's basically it just trying to get the, all these teas um, into the small deli cups see how many I get out of them and um, that's basically it so I will add on to this video once I'm done and um, basically we'll see what the final count was alright everyone we will be back in a few Okay, so so far I have gotten there's mom right there and the little ones are crawling all around in there and so they are actually leaving mom which is a good sign because that means they're just kind of like ready to go out on their own um, and so just trying to get them out uh, once they started coming out of the container it was good to just go ahead and take them because um, in nature that's basically what they do they stay close to the mom for a bit and eventually go out and wander off on their own so so far as you can see I have about let's see 18 22 cups there's still a good amount in there to go so I'll continue getting these guys into those deli cups and um, get them all situated and then um, feed them and they will be good so I will shoot one last part of this video to see how many we have total at the end of it all and very neat hope you like this and we'll be back in a bit hello everyone how you doing this is the last part to my red face um, Chilean rose hair as you can see we deli cupped all of the babies and there's still a few more in another shelf and I've rehoused mom back in the critter keeper just cleaned it up and been feeding her since she hadn't eaten in about a couple of months uh, a lot of times whenever they have an egg sac um, it's okay to just not feed them and uh, they will be fine um, just because the, the crickets can um, eat away at the egg sac and they can damage it. Um, basically they stay with the egg sac the whole time they're out in in nature so uh, they're used to going a good span of time without eating if they have to. So mom's back in the container. These are all the babies that have been individually deli cupped. Uh, total count was 85 and I did once I separated the substrate from the old container just to make sure I wasn't missing any and opened up the egg sac. There was a good amount of them that didn't make it, probably about 70 or so. So the egg sac was originally probably about 150 or so. 150, maybe a little bit over. But it wasn't too bad. Um, had mom in a 10 gallon container just opened the lid to the critter keeper and they just kind of came out on their own. So it was just preparing the deli cups and getting them all set up and getting those little guys in there so they're all in their individual container now and um, that was that's basically it alright guys thanks for watching